loop in the right hand, finger pointing forward. We're going to do a walk the dog, which is pushing the hoop away and pulling it back. Like this. It'll come back to its starting position. So there is a way we can do this without doing the complicated turning. So that way will be to walk the dog to catch the hoop in between thighs. Now if we wiggle the hoop from side to side, we can push it either way. Now if I push it round to what is my right, I need to turn round to the left and then I can end up in the same position and pop my right leg into the hoop. This is a classic wedgie position. My uh, right left leg is on the outside, my right leg is in and it's on the right edge of the hoop. So push over and push over. There's my wedgie. So that is from a static position, which is a bit easier than the turning position. Now if I'm going to turn, I'm going to roll the hoop away, and as it starts coming back, I'm going to turn anti-spin to the hoop, I'm going to go to my left. Turn around like this. As I come back round to the front, I'm going to lift up my right leg and right knee and push it into the hoop. Also, I'm going to push with my left thigh at the same time so that the hoop moves around to the right. And then we're back to that position we did a minute ago where it's now resting on the back. As I continue to turn, it comes back to its starting position, legging, wedging it up and over. Just to come out however you want to come out. So fingers crossed this works. Full swing. Roll it away, turn around. Around into that position, into that position, and that's it. So, hopefully, that's a little bit clearer than the other tutorial, which I'll take down. The important things to remember about these wedges that when the hoop is on the left side of my body, my left leg is out, and my right leg is through, and I'm on the right edge of the hoop, then using both my thighs. I'm going to squish it around up and over. Now look, it's on the other side of my body. So now I'm on the left edge of the hoop. My right leg is in front of it and my left leg is in. And that's going to push it up and over. Oh look, I'm on the other side. You see the sequence here. So things to practice to get used to it is this position where you have the hoop walking from left to right. And choosing to go either way, either if I push it round to the right, to the left, you can use your hands when you get in the hang of it. Leg in, push it over. Leg in, push it over. Or, if I'm going to the left, I can turn to the right. I can use my hand until I've got the hang of it. Like that. So, although it looks complicated, you can slow it right down, and it is really achievable. The, the complicated bit is with the roller back, the time and the coming in to get in. See, it's complicated. But it's not so much complicated, it's all a matter of timing. Whereas this, or Those fingers this, the hoop is already there. Let alone stand me, but slim, what if you win? Wouldn't it be weird? Why? So you guys give me a something real shady.